My last part, part number three, just end in that moment. I already explained you gyroscopic problem. This gyroscopic is uh, parallel, so one mass accelerate respect to point A and one mass slowing down respect to point A, respect to point A. And I also explain you completely free from any problem. <coughs> gyroscopic direction perpendicular to uh, main velocity v0 so this uh, gyroscopic is moving perpendicular so kinetic energy graph we can uh, say that <coughs> racket is zero point for this uh, for for this gyroscopic racket coordination system zero is here and both mass mass upper mass and low and down mass both mass accelerate the same way the same uh, energy uh, portion receive uh, this is the reason why we have some problem and uh, we have some reaction forces in bearing and time of working this kind of uh, gyroscope this this gyroscope will be different and has got relation with coordination system velocity, absolute coordination system velocity in the universe. Right now I will explain you more detail about this problem. <coughs> uh, please imagine that you have a that we have a Newton table, uh, Newton, I uh, sorry, not Newton. Mm, table without table without friction timber ball on the table we have mass m okay we have zero friction here we have mass m we have mass m uh, please imagine that this is velocity v0 Co main coordination system in the universe. This is stationary point A. This is mass M. And this is kinetic energy parabola graph. Velocity V0 exists. So the table and the mass and we are in that position this is V0 and this is A this is A point and this is A point this is kinetic energy graph for mass M mm. M V squared divided by 2 this is uh, velocity this is velocity arrow this is energy arrow this is kinetic parabola <clears throat> Look, when I'm pushing this mass opposite to this velocity, I'm trying to give I, my finger trying to work opposite to this energy. And when i pushing this mass like this, I try to give to this uh, mass energy and energy will be rise. When I pushing perpendicular or like this or like this, so I try pushing this mass. This is kinetic energy parabola on this direction. This mass in, is in zero point on this direction. When I pushing, when you are a child and you play the ball, if ball going very easy you can push the ball but catch the ball is a different or push the ball is a different hmm it is huge problem for me principle of conversation of momentum and principle of conversation of energy when I'm pushing like this, or when I'm pushing like this, to keep the same velocity, to keep the same velocity, I have to give not equal energy to mass m. Uh, how I call this? 
I'm calling this, this is mass M, this mass has got some inertia. I call this inertia, In what is inertia? Inertia is energy. It's resistant, what will feel my finger when I'm pushing like this, or when I'm pushing like this, on a perpendicular direction on the table. But, we have to always remember about point A. We cannot write that this table and point A equal because we will make mistake. This mass is in that position on this direction. This is V0 direction. This is V0 direction. This is V0. And this mass has got some energy. We have to respect that this mass has got energy. Not the same will be push mass like this or push mass like this. Very important is idea with uh, pipe and dynamiter energy portion inside pipe and mass M and mass M and some rocket without windows and velocity V0 and this kind of pipe and dynamic portion A Explosion will not push the same mass mass M and mass M will not push the same mass M left and mass M right. Not will not give the same velocity respect to uh, stationary point A. Why? The same gas forces, the same time of work. Please look on the table without friction. Point A cannot be on the table. Point, point A is in the universe because the table is moving in the universe with velocity V0. We cannot write kinetic energy graph always like this. This is a zero. This is a zero point. This is mass M. Mass M velocity rising and slowing down like this. No, this is not this is not true. Not always. This is true only on perpendicular direction. This is true only on perpendicular perpendicular to table direction. Very important is write energy graph like this. This is point A and, and, and mass has got some energy. Let's back to the racket. We have a pipe. Inside pipe we have a perfect dynamic energy portion. Mass M left, mass M right. Respect to point A. A Mass M slowing down, mass M right, accelerate, this is velocity V0. This is kinetic energy graph. Problem is, to write good equation we have to recognize problem. Um, the same as in my first movie, sec second part of movie, I explain you how many energy, uh, how many energy will feel sensor front and sensor rear. Right now, the problem is how many energy will go to the left mass and how many energy will go to the light to the uh, to the right mass and to the left mass. Energy always go there where it's more easy, where feel lower resistant. Very good example from real life. Very, very good example from real life. We have a building, earth, and uh, lighting root. Huge energy. We we'll recognize building as a huge resistance. So energy will go to the earth by lighting root. And go this. Okay. We have a racket. Inside racket we have a pipe. This pipe has got velocity V0 and this is mass M and this is mass M. Inside we have dynamiter portion E. Question is, after explosion where energy will go more easy? What is... We have to recognize that exists a rear and uh, divide by a E front or oh, similar like in light we have to write like this to not have a problem with divide by zero equal x 
this kind of equation this kind of equation you have to add to classical mechanic uh, for example you, you you've write equation number one is the principle of conversation of energy respect to stationary point a stationary point a i already explained what we put for this pipe by aberration or other method and second is principle of conversation of momentum also equation is important and equation number three we have to recognize that this uh, exists some energy portion that will go to uh, left mass and some energy portion that we, uh, will go to right mass why because inertia of this mass is ch changing when mass accelerate mass when mass accelerate inertia of mass uh, rising when mass slowing down inertia of mass changing the k for success is a kinetic energy graph einstein told a very similar word about mass mass rising when velocity rising so this free equation will give you full picture of this what's happened inside racket without windows what's happened with uh, energy where what is inertia of mass right what is inertia of mass uh, left and left where you will not have any problem when velocity not exist when velocity not exist you can very easy write that energy left and energy right are the same if you compare energy left and right are the same because you will start your parabola from stationary point in the universe but only if exists some velocity it is huge problem because this is a kinetic uh, parabola graph and energy and velocity not like cooperate i mean the same velocity and the same velocity means not the same energy and not the same energy okay right now i will explain a very important experiment that tony parado made in usa in 2006 one rope and one mass we have beta angle here and here we have got alpha angle that guy think 2006 2006 USA USA you can find in movie description in YouTube and movie description uh, more detail about this experiment this guy found that exists some problem um, why this Foucault why Foucault pendulum slowing down slowing down he tried to find the reason in my next movie I will explain you explain this 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 problem and I also will uh, try uh, explain um, how look uh, how look uh, uh, move how move sun and earth in the universe what is the velocity direction and so on so on okay thank you please watch next next part